Hey everybody, this video is all about Dolby Atmos and the best hardware options for watching movies at home this year. Now, as more new movies and TV shows continues to come out on streaming platforms, you will not want to choose upgrades for your home theater system until you watch this video. The cool thing is you don't even have to change that many components since you probably already own most of the key parts. We'll tell you why Dolby Atmos is so cool and then we'll cover a few basic but essential setup tips for connecting components with HDMI cables for great sounding uncompressed Atmos. So after watching this, you will know exactly what to look out for when shopping for Dolby Atmos upgrades this year. Now let's get started. All right, let's quickly talk about what Dolby Atmos is and why it's so cool. In short, it's one of the most significant developments in surround sound technology over the past decade. Atmos gives movie directors, audio engineers, and now music artists the ability to add a sense of height or elevation to their presentation of sound. So compared to traditional surround sound technology where you could have the left, right, center, side, and rear channel speakers all around you for two dimensions of surround, Dolby Atmos speakers add a third dimension to your soundstage that is object-based. So before, movie studios just had a balance control to play with to position sound between the channels. But now, there's a complete three-dimensional field that can place sound in an exact spot. So for movies, the engineers can really capture the sense that footsteps are creeping up from behind you. And I mean, think about that for horror films for a minute. Even scary movies can now create an eerie sensation that ghostly whispers are suspended right above you to completely cover you in a soundscape that the director intends. Now at Audio Vice, we've been helping people watch movies in the best possible surround formats available since the introduction of surround sound in the early 1980s. We actually design, build, and install home theater rooms for people all across the nation. When Dolby Atmos came out in 2012, it was the commercial movie theaters who were the first ones to create the experience of multi-dimensional sound that moves all around you with strategically installed speakers placed all around the theater. In 2014, it entered the home theater market and this year was the first time ever that the Olympic Games streamed live from Tokyo, Japan in Dolby Atmos and 4K HDR. So, Atmos appears to be the future of streaming. And today, it does seem like more movies and TV shows are coming out onto subscription-based streaming platforms. So, as long as you have the right Atmos-enabled hardware, it is easier than ever for pretty much anyone to experience immersive audio at home. Now, we have another great companion video that focuses solely on the best platforms with Dolby Atmos content and how to find them. We put a link to it in the description, but here we are focusing on some of the best Atmos enabled hardware options to help you get the true immersion of Dolby Atmos with streaming platforms and other sources. Since we just covered what Dolby Atmos is, let's dive into our favorite audio and video essentials so you can take full advantage of this cool, object-based audio format too. So what do you need to stream Dolby Atmos content? Well, the good news is you don't need to start your setup completely over from scratch to get all the benefits of Atmos. You will need a hardware source that can decode the Atmos content. And as I already mentioned, our companion video on the best Dolby Atmos platforms covers these sources and their platforms in more detail. But a few of our top picks from that video are the Apple TV 4K, Chromecast with Google TV, Roku Ultra, Nvidia Shield, or a new 4K Smart TV. Now, some of the latest next-gen gaming consoles can also do it. And if you have an old trusty Blu-ray player still lying around, that's also fully capable of playing back Dolby Atmos Blu-ray disc. You will also need content encoded in this immersive format. And of course, you'll also need either a home theater system capable of decoding Atmos or a Dolby Atmos enabled soundbar. Next, we will cover everything you will need to get end-to-end -end uncompressed Dolby Atmos for the best immersion.
All right, from a hardware standpoint, the most important upgrade you may need to make to your setup is to the home theater receiver or processor, as you will need one that can decode Dolby Atmos. There are a ton of legacy pre-4K systems still out there, so for many people, this will be the perfect timing to make an upgrade. You can knock out two things at once by upgrading to 4K video switching while also adding Dolby Atmos decoding. We have another full written guide on the best home theater receivers that will help you explore exactly what to look for. Link to that is also in the description. The next most important upgrade you will want to factor in are the speakers themselves that handle those additional height channels in your surround sound setup. Dolby Atmos uses more speakers than a typical surround sound installation, which means you will also want to integrate some in ceiling or Atmos elevation speakers into your system. If you already have some surround sound speakers in your ceiling, you might be able to repurpose them for Dolby Atmos. Of course, you will also want to plan the layout of all of your speakers for the best presentation of sound and Dolby Atmos performance in your home theater room. And our video on home theater speaker layout options is a great resource that will guide you every step of the way. A link to that video is also in the description. Now, if you just like diving in and want a cool way to experiment and play around with some of the speaker layout options just by entering the dimensions of your room, then our free home theater design tool at audiovice.com is another great resource to help you get started. And while not quite the same immersion as a full home theater installation with the separate speakers all around the room, Atmos enabled soundbars that already have the upward firing speakers built in are a fantastic way to experience Dolby Atmos in a living room or just about any bedroom. We cover all of them and more in our best Dolby Atmos soundbars video. Now, the next question that everyone runs into and causes the most confusion for just about everyone is what's the best way to connect your components to get Dolby Atmos? Dolby Atmos is gonna require HDMI cables, and in some cases, you will need to use an eARC connection with your HDMI cable. So to know what you actually need here, here are the three major ways you might have your system configured. Number one, you have a Dolby Atmos capable home theater receiver or a Dolby Atmos soundbar with multiple input connections like a home theater receiver. In this case, simply use good quality HDMI cables to connect your components to your home theater receiver or soundbar, then run an HDMI cable to your TV to send a video feed over. A great example of a soundbar with this capability is the new Klipsch Cinema 1200 soundbar. We like the fact that it has input switching like a home theater receiver. Number two, you might have a Dolby Atmos soundbar like the Sonos Arc that only has one eARC HDMI connector. With a system like this, use your smart TV apps or connect a streaming box capable of Dolby Atmos to your TV. This type of setup needs an eARC capable TV to get uncompressed Dolby Atmos sound to your soundbar. You can still use the regular HDMI ARC connection from your TV to the soundbar if your TV is older and does not have eARC, but this will be a compressed version of Dolby Atmos. Number three, some people just prefer to use their smart TV apps or may even prefer to have their TV do all of the switching of their video sources and have them connected to their TV. This is just like number two, as you will need an eARC connection on your TV to send an uncompressed Dolby Atmos feed to your home theater receiver or soundbar. The bottom line is, if you have separate components, it is probably better to have the Dolby Atmos soundbar or Dolby Atmos home theater receiver do all of the switching. This will keep you from needing to buy a brand new TV to get the latest eARC HDMI feature. All right, so now that you have all the hardware in your setup figured out, all you have to do next is find Dolby Atmos content to watch. Well, as we discuss in our video comparing all the best Dolby Atmos platforms, that's not always so easy. So we gathered all the best Atmos platforms offering the largest catalogs of Atmos encoded content, including streaming services like Amazon Prime, Vudu, Disney Plus, Netflix, HBO Max, Apple TV Plus, Redbox, and Blu-ray players, and then we assigned a rating to each one to offer you our final verdict. With that video as your guide, you will unlock the magic of this immersive format, no matter which service or platform you choose. 
That companion video covers all of them, so we'll go watch it right now to find out which ones really offer the best Dolby Atmos experience and for the ones we simply do not recommend. That concludes our take on the best hardware options for watching Dolby Atmos movies and some essential tips and tricks to connect it all together. If you have any questions on these or how your home audio or home theater gear can be set up to take full advantage of all the cool Atmos features coming to movie streaming, just give us a call, chat with us on audiovice.com or stop into one of our award-winning showrooms. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and also go check out the playlist section on our YouTube channel to easily find all of the content you're looking for. We'll see you next time. <music>